In this video, I'll be showing you how I beat the PlayStation world record for the Keo Perico Heist speedrun in 28 minutes and 46 seconds. It will cover the initial setup to block certain missions as well as the one part where I messed up the most, possibly losing about 2 minutes of time. Some of the strats used were not covered in my two How to Speedrun a Keo Perico videos, so if you want to learn something new, then stick around. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing I did was block the dreaded Meriwether HQ mission from spawning meaning I only ever got the CEO office missions for the weapons prep. I did this by dropping three dinghies in these three specific spots and blowing them up. I then blocked the Lamessa and Vinewood Longfin locations using two more dinghies. I did this because I only wanted the Vespucci location. In order to get the Vellum location I wanted during the Gather Intel mission, I blocked the two Grapeseed locations here and here. And then blocked the Procopio Beach spawn here and then the Palato Bay spawn here. That's a total of 9 dinghies dropped down before we even start. I dropped a few sticky bombs down at Lagos and Kudo. And lastly, I parked my Kasatka at Vespucci Docks. The next thing I did was call up Simeon and request a job. Hey, can I help you with something? No problem, coming right up. I then set up job warping during missions by going to quick join, random, alone, accept, then quick join and backing out. If you'd like a full guide on everything I've just mentioned, I've left links in the description. Everything in place and I start the gather intel mission. As soon as I can, I located my job warp at Lego Zancudo started the job and then turned off my controller. This job has since disappeared, but there is another Rockstar Verified job right next to it which can be now used instead. As soon as I load in, I set off the sticky bombs which took care of the baller and surrounding enemies. From here, I tilted the plane to gain altitude quicker and monitored my altimeter and speed, ensuring I stayed above 1000 feet for extra pace. I then head towards the ocean in between LSIA and the docks. From the start of the Gather Intel to the Cape Rico cutscene in under 3 minutes and 45 seconds. On the island, I take this specific route. then do an epic, rather lucky jump over the cliff and then up towards the comm tower. God on the previous road means the box will be at ground level. The signal box will have moved since you were last here, Habitat. Upstairs, downstairs. You will need to look around. Quick maths completed and I hit right on the d-pad three times before spinning the camera to the left and primary target scope. Aha, I back out and accept the previously called Simeon job. A drink like this deserves to be appreciated. Backing out of that lands me at the docks. I then job warp over to the Spooch docks. then face in this direction to call in my oppressor, which will now spawn behind me. Oppressor parked and I start the first prep which is weapons and a conspirator loadout. The reason for the conspirator loadout is because of the sticky bombs in the finale. I fly over to the CEO office. I have sent you location. Okay, you are approaching the building now. There may be a roof entrance. 
equip my silence AP pistol and take out these three guards. Through the front door. Expect heavy combat on entry. The guns we are looking for will be in a special shipment. Try looking for gun locker, wall safe, something like this. If you have trouble opening it, check for their computer. Did it work? Hacking didn't take long. I grabbed the weapons. No complacency, yes? They will be right behind you. Then jump a few times for a little speed boost. Use. I would use personal weapons on operations such as this. Exit through the roof and back to the Kasaka. For the plasma cutter prep, I parked a little too far from the door. Come. Today we thieve from thieves. I double tap up to take a photo, then send to Pavel before leaving. I think they are not home. I know the next location will be by Dr. Dre's studio, but I momentarily forget which alleyway. Ah, there you are. I will send you new location now. Everyone dead, I trigger the checkpoint. Grab the goods. And I'm out. This shooting sounds very encouraging. You have the plasma cutter? I then get job warping ready, just in case. And start the fingerprint cloner. But I won't need it as good RNG means it's the closest location. The fingerprint scanner in Mr. Rubio's office is very late as design. Normal hacking tools will be detected immediately and the whole place will be sealed. Our only chance is to acquire Mr. Rubio's fail-safe device, which can reconstruct his fingerprint in case of emergency. This and only this will allow us to hack the system. And to get it. Oh, we got to I blast everyone, then call Simeon, which cuts out a ton of dialogue, so I can then hack the computer earlier. If we want to find out where they are, it will be guarded in there. You avoid the cameras, you keep element of surprise, yes? Have you ever searched the internet for Mr. Rubio? Find the computer terminal, we will hack it and locate the archives. Now over to the Series A finale location, and I failed to get into first person quick enough because of the slow and clunky controls. First person here means quicker acceleration, which would have saved me about half a second. Not get distracted in there. The fail-safe tool will be the size of a credit card. Probably it will have an antenna. Do you have the device? Get it out of there, quickly. Phone collected, and I just need to deliver it. Bad RNG for the cutting torch as the other two possible locations are much closer and easier to complete. Triggering the dialogue or perhaps this is time to practice staying out of sight of armed guards. Running away and then back to the hat means I can equip it faster. I don't want First person here makes it easier to navigate. Call me! Call me! What is happening with the shipment? Should I, be I was meant to jump here, but I fell down instead. Meal! This goes wrong. I will work. First, when I'll hear it once a while. Just get third toolbox check. And I'm on my way back to deliver. Last prep, and I forgot to activate job warping. I fly to Vespucci. The moment we have been waiting for has arrived, Captain. One of Mr. Rubio's smuggler boats has been captured by the police. This is our chance to acquire it for ourselves and use it to approach the island without raising suspicion. Calling my phantom wedge. They were outside the police station. Pick up 
at Longfin. Leaving the police station, then calling and cancelling the Simeon job twice enables you to lose the cops and therefore grants the ability to job warp. I was meant to job warp directly to the drop off location at the docks, with the wedge appearing right outside. But as I forgot to activate the job warping, there are now no jobs visible. Now annoyed and looking like an idiot to anyone who didn't know what I was trying to do, I had to deliver the old fashioned way, losing around 2 minutes. As soon as the cutscene starts, the job is complete, so I load into a new friend lobby and directly into my Kasatka to start the finale. As soon as the initial cutscene ends, I double tap the cinematic button in order to steer the boat sooner. I line it up and towards the barrier on the left. Well, well. And ready my sticky box. So Chucking it and blowing myself up here spawns me directly into the compound. This strat only works on normal mode as you have an extra life to play with. For this run to be good, I need one of these three guards to drop the door codes. Luck is on my side as it's the first guard I kill. Big. On the surface, from movement patterns, I would say it is. <laughs> I get into first person, ready for the compound. Good, side gate. Entrance confirmed. When inside, I turn right. Headshot this dude for the gate keys. Ah, it's good to be back, no? Now I believe you have been here before, so you don't need me to tell you what happens next. Then the next guard around the corner who drops them. Oh. So far, close to perfect RNG on the island. Into the basement and then hacking the fingerprint. Strafing right and then jumping up the stairs. Did it work? We must be close now. Now how are your nerves? Steady? You will need them to be if you want to get into that bulletproof display case. Steady nerves and a plasma cutter. Four spins on the plasma cutter and the tequila is mine. I promise I will not drink this. Out the gate and jump down the stairs. Unless you want to, in which case I will bring the caviar. I climb the wall on the left. Then trigger the exit. I headshot the first guard and then steal his bike. The compound is behind us and they still have no idea what's hit them. We are almost home. Just get out of there. The coordinates for your extraction point at the airstrip should be with you now. Now just past the deadly bushes before a nice jump into the ocean, pulling back for more distance. They have their attack boats mobilized along the coast. Then just a short swim towards these three sea mines before punching one in a defiant act of glory. The speedrun timer ends as soon as the minimap disappears.
I finished with a nice finale time of just 3 minutes and 42 and a total time of 28 minutes and 46 seconds. So now you all know what to do in order to beat my time, so good luck to anyone who attempts it. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down and I'll see you in the next one.